Wonder Woman 1984 is still coming out on Christmas Day. It's going to be in theaters and also HBO Max. Let's talk about this. Hey everybody, Blood Moon Bobby here. So you heard right, Wonder Woman 1984, the sequel to the really successful Wonder Woman movie, is coming out both in theaters and HBO Max on December 25th. In terms of international markets, Wonder Woman 1984 will be in cinemas on December 16th in countries where HBO Max isn't available. And it will come at no cost for HBO Max subscribers. When I first, I know I briefly talked about this news I think in a prior live stream in one of my Nintendo live streams. And I thought it was kind of a surprising move because I thought it would piss off of movie theater chains, especially with the whole fiasco that happened with uh, Universal and Trolls World Tour. The reason we're not hearing as much uproar with Warner Brothers this time is because they released Tenet this past summer. You remember that Christopher or Nolan movie? They released it in theaters at a time during the coronavirus pandemic, at a time when not many people were going to movie theaters. So I think the thinking here is the theater chains were like, hey, since Warner you know, took a chance and released a movie in theater, without many compromises is we'll give them a little more leeway here with Wonder Woman 1984. So I think from a customer perspective, I think this is a really great opportunity for movie fans and especially Wonder Woman and DC fans to get a chance to finally see Wonder Woman 1984 after being delayed. It'd be a really accessible opportunity to them, especially if they are HBO Max subscribers or if they're interested enough to check out at the service. I also heard from numerous articles that it could be a good way to prop up HBO Max's numbers because it sounds like the service is not exactly getting off to a really great start. It can't be because of other reasons why the service may not be taking off in the way HBO and Warner wanted to. But still, I think that it could be a way to help uh, HBO Max, especially since I know there's a lot of people who really like the first Wonder Woman movie. I personally thought it was it was all right, but I know there's people out there who who like the first one even more than I do. So I think it could be a great way for HBO Max to at least get some more subscribers onto the service. In terms of a business perspective, I'll be honest, I kind of sort of saw it as a bit of a surprising move, mainly because as at the time. Mainly because up until really recently, I was thinking that a lot of movie studios were going to hold off on their, uh, especially big budget releases. And we know that, and I read that with Wonder Woman 1984, it reportedly costed around $200 million to make. And Variety said that it could have made a billion dollars at the box office. So I was thinking maybe they would hold movies like Wonder Woman 1984 off until 2021 potentially when it's a lot safer for movie audiences to get back into theaters. But when uh, recently Disney and Pixar decided to bring Soul, the upcoming animated movie Soul, to Disney+, Plus, then it started like opening up this idea that, like, hey, the studios are now bringing these even bigger budgeted movies to um you know to uh, uh digi- to either uh streaming services or digital video on demand services earlier than expected because up until then it was mainly movies that either may not have had the biggest box office turnout or movies that were just leaving theaters those were the ones you know movies I'm thinking of like Scoob and Onward were the ones coming to video on demand and streaming services earlier than expected but we didn't really see that with big budget movies until Soul. So in that aspect, it's not nearly as surprising. And it seems like we're going to see some more movies be put on either video on demand services or streaming services earlier than expected. And I'm sure it's going to also depend on how well Soul and Wonder Woman 1984 do when they come to Disney Plus and HBO Max respectively on Christmas Day. Which one, which one of those movies are you going to see on Christmas Day first? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. But I'm sure they'll both do pretty well because I know there's a lot riding behind Soul. And the first Wonder Woman movie was really successful. So I'm sure it'll be a success on HBO Max. I'm kind of suspecting that since there's still a lot of skepticism about going to see movies in theaters due to the coronavirus. And the reports I've read said that Tenet didn't do so well. 
at the box office and could potentially even lose money. Which I also kind of think another reason why Tenet may have also not done so well is because I've heard it's not a super straightforward sort of, of movie. It's one of those multiple viewing movies. It sounds like it's something that like mainstream audiences wouldn't couldn't can't really grasp but i think it's mostly because of the uh pan the pandemic as to why it didn't do nearly as well at the box office so let me know your thoughts down below what do you personally think of wonder woman 1984 being released in theaters and hbo max at the exact same time um are you going to see soul or wonder woman 1984 first or do you think that Oh, Wonder Woman 1984 should have waited for a more conventional theatrical release. Leave all those thoughts down below. And until next time, this has been Blood Moon Bobby. And thank you all for watching. Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching this Blood Moon Bobby video. Like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel to see more of my videos. And ring the bell to be notified about my latest uploads. Don't forget to follow me on social media for my latest opinions and video updates. I hope to see you next time.